Hello everybody, welcome back to Thomas Plays Games. I think I've figured it out. I was looking here at the Knights, and I've allied the Knights, I've done a whole bunch of things, but they're pretty darn far away from me being able to actually vassalize them, which is kind of, you know, the main goal of the campaign. So, it will, I, I wouldn't be able to vassalize them without taking this province right here from uh, the Ottomans, or this province right here from Venice. And both of those guys have... <gasps> Uh, either big allies or are big themselves, so I don't want to fight that. But, looking at a couple other guys, like, well, looking at the Knights' allies, I figured out what I can do. So the Knights are allied to me, Venice, Liege, and Castile. I don't want to fight Castile, so I can't just do a no CB war uh, random thing against the Knights breaking the alliance and all that stuff. But, I could force Luca to break their alliance with Hungary. Um, following that, declaring war on them for a province, calling in the knights, and then vassalizing the knights from that. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to break... Once I get my diplomat back, I'll break this alliance and see what I can do afterwards. Alright, break alliance with Castile. So Castile might be a little unhappy. But let's just confirm that. There we go. So, they're no longer allied with Castile, who is kind of one of the big players that I don't want to be fighting. Like, I think I could take him, but I don't know if it's going to be worth it uh, to try and do that. Let's see, yeah, we're pretty pretty close to that. Um, hmm. Okay, so now we're only three short years away from attacking the knights. Okay, cool. Knights. I wonder if I could force them to break the alliance with Castile. I can't. Yeah, they, uh... Oh, because I recently forced somebody to break an alliance. Interesting. I didn't know there was a timer on that. Uh, but yeah, so... Once I get a claim on Luca, once this truce is over, it ends in five years. It's a long... Wait, I don't have a truce with them? Oh, it must be me that has the truce. Yeah, there we go. So my truce is ten years with Luca. Interesting. That's a lot longer than I thought it would be. Okay, we'll scratch that. I don't know if that's the right solution. But I want to get closer to actually being able to annex the knights. So I'm going to be trying to do different things, looking around, and just trying to figure out a way to wrap up this uh, campaign. Let's see. Yeah, nobody wants to fight that. Don't owe him ten favors. Distant war, but Poland would almost join. Uh, allied to the enemy, of course. Uh, yeah, can yeah yeah keep keep the influence going. Every tick of influence is more of the trust, which I can use to more trust from the influence, which I can use for different useful things. And why is my mic? You know, my mic it seems very quiet. Maybe that's better. Okay, I'm oh, sorry about that. Uh, I don't care about that. And, let's see, Venice. Yeah, it'd be nice to attack Venice. I just don't really have an easy way to do so. Yeah. There's no simple way to attack Venice without also getting France in there. Uh, since they only have two allies and the Trade League. Though I could check what the Trade League is. Uh, I think that's under... Money? Trade goods? No, it must be under Government. It's one of these buttons. There we go. Trade leagues. Uh, does Venice even have anyone in their trade league? Just with the knights. So, you know, we're back to square one. Can't really solve that problem. Hmm. I'll still fabricate the claim on Luca. Maybe in ten years, if I can't think of a better solution, I will just follow through with that idea. I'm actually going to turn the forts off. I think I'll have enough time if the religious war fires to actually get rid of that. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Musk could be just ate a huge chunk up there. Nude alone. Yeah, I'd like to get rid of that loan. Mamelukian separatists. Yeah. Uh, is it just because of this guy? I'm looking at the money, trying to figure out how to get more of it. Uh, I could just take two loans and embrace this estate. That wouldn't be too bad of a thing to do. Try 
try to get some of these places to finish up. Keep down, uh, you know, keep down the, uh, or, yeah, keep the points down to a reasonable level, but also keep the, um, I don't know, just keep the points down to a good level. Hopefully these things revolt soon. Let's actually move out of there so they revolt faster. Yeah, this should happen soon. Yeah, these provinces. It's a problem with not going humanist ideas. Just you get conversions and, or you get a lot of fighting. Uh, with rebels, and they're all synchronized. Oh yeah, synchronized uh, missionary dance. Uh, Roma and Connor. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Institutions already pretty much maxed in those places. Hmm. Unbalanced research. Well, I'll finally be able to solve that problem. The problem won't. Unbalanced research because of the lack of uh, diplo points on our rulers, but finally be able to solve that. Yeah, I took another loan. I mean, I might as well take one more. Let's see, 600. Deal, and then I can actually tech up some of these things. Sweet. And we're still on. Oh, I didn't know it got worse. Oh, jeez. That's not good. Uh, so it's unbalanced research, point 0.2 instead of the point 0.1. That's uh, not good. But what idea do I want? Let's see, what's my Pope? 544. I'm going to probably pick an admin idea. Ottomans insulted me. Now, what idea would be really good? Hmm. I think... Uh, most of the problems I'm having as a people state are financial problems rather than anything else. Like, I'm, I'm doing okay on conversions. Uh, revolts are tolerable. Um, yeah, then I could just do for the money right now. That would really help me the most. There we go. More money for me. And hopefully these things revolt very soon. I would like that to uh, work. Ferrara joined the Catholic League. Welcome, Ferrara. You made a good choice. We need more people like you in the Catholic League. Castile. Yeah, I was looking at this Castilian War. They're fighting a one province miner in uh, in South America, and they're just like, yeah, just it's just really, really going not well for them. I don't know why it's taken so long. Maybe New Granada didn't actually have any troops, and then they got sieged too much. I don't know. It's a it's kind of a shit show there. Okay, are these guys gonna revolt or not? I'm not made of money. I gotta pay these guys. Uh, I guess I'll take four loans then. Oh, awesome. There we go. And everybody in. Go back to Rosetta. Okay. And what happens if I just drop that a little bit? Uh, pretty hefty loss of life there, but we did it. Revolt dealt with. Everybody's happy. Army is <laughs> pretty hurt, but hey. Yeah, that would, uh, it's probably because I just didn't want to take that extra loan. I find loans to be pretty, uh, pretty annoying to have, honestly. They're just not that efficient of a way to do things. Yeah. And... Polish. Okay. Luca would like a claim on Pisa. There we go. Cool. I wonder if I could threaten. No, I still can't threaten war there. Ottomans? Yeah, not a chance. It's about what I expected, though. And hey, I might as well get some other ones around there. Yeah, I need 30 for the next thing. Yeah, it's going to take a little while to repay these loans. As I, uh, as I get my tech more balanced again, that should solve most of those problems, though. Although these conversions are still an issue. Uh, just take the autonomy, it's not a problem. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to when these reformation, uh, centers of reformation disappear. It shouldn't be too much longer, I hope. Yeah, I'd really like Castilian Italy, too. Give me all the south stuff, Sicily... Um, Piedmont or Sardinia as well. 
Getting all that stuff would be really nice, but you just can't uh, can't manage it at the moment. The uh, there's enough big players and enough big alliances that I just gotta sit and wait. Hmm. Yeah, let's pay for a little bit of this just to have those guys reinforce uh, some mothball those boats. I don't need to pay that much for them. Yeah, in a few months, I should be. Uh, most of the problems should be solved. Uh, just, sure, give me the inflation. That's one of my favorite things about um, about economic ideas, is that you get inflation reduction naturally. Like, I don't know why, but one of my favorite ideas is inflation reduction, because it just means like a whole bunch of events where the the negative part just doesn't really matter. Uh, every event where you get inflation for something, normally it's a trade off, and you just kind of get stuff for free instead. Um, on top of the fact that you you get more choices, you could hire an inflation reduction guy if you really need him, or you could hire like a uh, you know tax modifier guy and know that your inflation will still go down, meaning your money's more valuable. Yeah, one bark in, yeah, one bark in here. I still earn some money there in uh in Venice. It'd be nice to take Venezia, the actual Venice uh, capital. That is a pretty good province. Yeah, pretty darn good. Cool, Ferrara's doing good. I don't know if this Holy War is actually going to fire. Like, uh, our side is pretty powerful. Even if their side is really strong. It really, it feels like it defend, depends more on... Take the admin points. It feels like it depends more on, more on what Castile wants to do. This is 5% more expensive because of one of the things I took. Uh, yeah, Counter-Reformation. What's this one again? Construction cost reduction. That's really nice, too. There we go. Get more of these places converted. It'll take a little while for Alexandria. It's higher development than these two places. Um, but yeah, we definitely took the best land from the Mamluks. Other than Cairo, everything else is just kind of... Uh, shit in desert. And... Yep. Just waiting and waiting. The Swiss. Yeah, I can get one claim on Milan. I can get one more claim in Venice. Okay, I'm happy with those conversions. Let's get another one of the Protestant or Reformed places done. I'm gonna improve again with Castile and... Check in Austria. Austria I could improve with... <gasps> Excuse me. And, uh, hmm. I'd love 10, uh, trade 10 loyalty for 200 bucks. And, hmm. Yeah, I'll just take the 100 admin points and, uh, call it a day from the clergy. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it'd be nice to pay those off. Those loans are killer. Uh, hmm. I wonder if... Well, I'm going to check uh, now if the knights are feeling any better about uh, the economic base. Uh, it looks pretty similar. Uh, yeah, just give me all those points. Looks pretty similar. Just between borders, 41. Economic base isn't big enough. Uh, and he thinks his military power is a lot more than mine. I wonder why. It's definitely not. Okay, Cyprus should convert very soon, and that will be that uh, revolt dealt with. Great advisor, that was the inflation reduction guy. It was the cheaper one, too. I'm going to go for the unrest guy, temporarily. Uh, I don't want to establish the kingdom of Jerusalem. And I don't want more unrest, so I don't think I'll need that. Everybody's just insulting me. Man, nobody's, nobody's a Pope fan. And let's improve with Poland. Yeah. There is some issues with Poland not liking me too much. I don't, uh... Not fully sure. Well, I, I know why, but it's like... After a while, you'd think they'd be like, Okay, well, our ally has Danzig, so we're not going to fight him for it. And Luca, Good, we're pretty close to attacking him. And when we attack Luca. 
He hasn't picked up another huge ally. But he's actually ditched the knights. Really? Uh, no. No, no, no. Uh... Am I am I stupid? Did I pick the wrong group? L I E Liege. I did. Oh. Huh. I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Austria, right? Uh. Pff. Hmm. I see. I thought Luca was allied with the knights. Maybe I was just wrong. I must have just been wrong. Uh, he's allied with Frankfurt. Frankfurt? Yeah, it's also pretty unlikely to get that uh, broken. Because uh, if I declare war on the Empire without a CB, or within the Empire without a CB, uh, the Emperor will join on the side of the, uh, of the person declared on. So... Looking at my options now. Who are you fighting? Oh, this guy, right. Looking at my options now, it's looking like the Ottomans are the best bet. I could do it without Morocco intervening. That would be very nice. And I could get pretty much all of my allies in there. Let's repay one loan. Get rid of that. Yeah, I'm mostly paying corruption on for the uh, Diplo issues. Let's actually grab Diplo points to try to fix some of that. There, and I have to pay, you know, half the cost of that thing. Missionary maintenance should go down pretty soon, I hope. Okay, let's see. Yeah, if I was to attack the Ottomans, I'd want to attack them through the Papal Balkans. I can make how many boats? I can get six more. Four, yeah. Uh, let's keep the army pain. Let's keep the army payments down. As long as people are willing to attack the Ottomans with me, I'm happy. I'm pretty sure Poland, Lithuania, plus my two vassals could take Muscovy, and me and Austria could take the Ottomans. Although uh, you know, I've been I've been wrong before, so that might just be a fool's errand. But, it could work out really well. He does pay for all of his forts, though. It's a bit of a problem. Constantinople, the trade node, is extremely valuable. Yeah, lots of money goes in there. And I can get the inflation reduction. And 10% less aggressive expansion impact. Also, because I got all of, all of these uh, ideas through, you get 5% discipline uh, as the Pope. Which is super, super good. Very, very good idea group. Yeah, very good uh, selection there. Um, I like the Pope's ideas. It works pretty well. Okay, let's see. Who do you not like? You don't like me and you don't like Castile. Uh, Castile doesn't like that I have so many diplomatic relations. Um, they don't like that me and Hungary are rivals. Uh, didn't Hungary just recently end that? I'm not sure, but I thought they did. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's fine. I'm, I'm sure the Livonian Order are fine with that. Who else are you allied to? Hejaz, Morocco, or Tunis? I mean, I could actually attack Hejaz right now. It wouldn't be the, uh... You know, it would definitely be doable. I think I have a truce with him. Yeah, for three years. Uh, but attacking Hejaz might be the easiest way to get at the Ottomans without having to fight anyone. Uh, without having to fight Muscovy. Beyond that, Tunis is the best option. Yeah. Problem with attacking Tunis is that I might not be able to get all of my other allies in with me, so it's definitely a problem. Yeah, I'll get that idea next. Awesome. Keep converting. Yeah. Those conversions are going pretty well. It looks like most of the Center's Reformation have kind of backed off. 
which I appreciate. Give me that fort maintenance reduction, fort defense bonus. And it's not nothing. Not great, but it's not nothing. And the next level forts do cost quite a lot of money. So if I want to put one down, it'll cost a bit. I yeah, give everybody uh, more autonomy. No losses there, really. Still allied with France. Yeah, that Muscovite Castilian alliance is concerning. Denmark. Well, who else hates the Ottomans? It's just me and, uh, yeah. So, yeah, unless I was able to get Castile, that would really be it. Um. Yes, even, I think even Savoy was willing to join, yeah. It's a pretty powerful force. Morocco definitely doesn't want to be in that. Tunis is all about it, though. Yeah. Let's see. Military, armies. Ottomans have a pretty substantial army. Um, Muscovy has a really big one, too. Jeez. That is worrying. Okay, I've almost converted Alexandria. That's good. Glory will the Papal State be. Glorious, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. It's like, I don't even know if, uh... Well, let's see. What's Muscovy's tech? 14... Okay, so Muscovy's actually ahead of tech uh, from Poland, Lithuania. So that's not you know, too, uh... Not too likely to go well. Or it's uh, less likely than I would have liked to go well. Hmm. Yeah. Other than getting a bigger economic base, I'm not sure if I'll... Uh, yeah, c c getting the knights on my side might be a little tough. Well, I'll just keep bumping up their trust. Now they got four reasons to say yes, so we're getting there. Slowly, slowly getting there. Making a lot more money now. I really like this uh, economic idea group. It's uh, definitely not the best idea group out there, but it is really nice. The autonomy reduction, inflation reduction, uh, maintenance modifier going down, more taxes are nice. Like, it's just all good all the time. And there we go. Alexandria converted. We're getting a Catholic Egypt coming in. You don't take too many months for that. Hmm. Getting attacked by England, eh? Come on, Castile. You know you want to be my ally. Fight the Ottomans with me. Uh, phew. Yeah, a hundred of those reasons are just because of my alliances with uh, Austria and my rivalry of Hungary. If I could get rid of that, that would be super great, though. Huh. I wonder when I got that. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to steal land from him, but... It's cool. Uh, let's build a spy network on Hejaz, just, you know, to do something with it. You attacked by... Yeah, the Ottomans are attacking Delta Deer. Hmm. Are there any tech bonuses? Yeah, tech 15 is an important tech for sure. So it might be... Yeah, if I could get that before the Ottomans, that would really put my army ahead. Yeah, he's got way more manpower than I do. Muscovy doesn't have that much, though, despite the huge force limit. Uh, yeah, I'm way down here with Bohemia, but my army could be a lot bigger. I'm mostly just focusing on paying off loans, though, which is where my money's going. Yeah. I want three more boats. Three more galleys. Yeah, I just want as many galleys as I can, so I could actually fight the Ottomans in terms of navy power as well. As, uh... They have 74. Wow. And 14 heavies. Okay, so the Ottomans are kind of a little scary. Maybe it would be better to look at, uh, not the Ottomans as my expansion route. You know, even though I can get so many allies in there, it's just, uh... It seems like a fool's errand to try and attack them right now. So 
those months tick on by. Damn. France and Nassau. Nassau. Can't attack Nassau, but it would be nice if I could. Uh, I mean, if I can get Austria and Poland in on this war, and then I could fight the knights. Are the knights in here? Where are they? The knights. I don't see them. Um, did you break your alliance with them? You did. Yeah, you're not allowed with Venice anymore. I mean, could I attack Castile? I can still get some good friends in on that fight. And Castile isn't so much bigger than me, so that might be the best option. Attacking Castile instead of the Ottomans as the uh, major expansion opportunity. Um, through them being able to attack the Knights. And then I could, uh, you know, I could let Austria and Poland focus mostly on the major areas, try to take them down with my boats, uh, while I siege up uh, the Italian lands, try to get some stuff from that. So I think I'll do that, honestly. Yeah, that might be the best, uh, that might be the best case scenario to try and get uh, the knights to join me. Uh, they're... 47 is a lot closer than it used to be. I guess because they don't have an army anymore. Um, yeah. Is there any way I could max out my diplomatic reputation? No. Yeah, because their army got wiped out, they're, they're so, so close. Oh, that distance between borders is just killing me. And let's go pick up the other army. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's that's definitely a possibility. And that's something I want to look at and see if it's doable. Huh, it's a pretty decent-sized army. Or war in there. Austria? Oh, no. Austria rented some troops to somebody. And that's why that's fight that fighting's over there. Let's go to Ancona. Not ideal. Yeah, this revolt... And let's grab those. Awesome. So we pay less interest on the loan, which actually reduces the total cost of the loan. Very nice. Hmm. Yeah. Difference in government ranks. I'm not allowed to upgrade my government rank uh, as a papacy. I have to be the uh, Kingdom of Heaven. Yeah, there we go. And it's back down. Weird. Okay, let's get everybody over to Ancona. How many boats does Aragon have? Aragon's got... Yeah, so if I want to beat Aragon and Castile in a naval battle, I have to fight them individually and then uh, eliminating them and then healing up each uh, in between each fight. Grab two more boats. Try to max out as many, uh, get as many galas as possible. And I might even pre-build some extra ones. Uh, before the uh, before the war, so that when I lose some in combat, I actually have some quickly uh, replenishable ones. You have to pay for the army. Still got a little bit of time before I'm going to be doing this battle, but I want the army fully re reinforced, just in case. Okay. So bring these guys up. Send you to Leica. Yeah, once I get a uh, claim... Oh. Poland is very in debt, it seems. Yeah, and I'm totally cool fighting the knights. I'm okay with fighting Hungary, that shouldn't be a problem. Aragon, uh... Yeah, I think Aragon and Castile will actually be the issue. Hungary should fall pretty easily. And I think this is gonna be more of a war of, uh... Just kinda pushing them off of my army, rather than actually, uh... Like, trying to push them away from my lands while sieging up their own. Rather than actually like just stack wipe uh, carpet siege type stuff. Really, Genoa got free. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. And I only need 15, so let's fabricate a claim on. Uh, which one's better? 
Napoli? Yeah, let's fabricate a claim on Napoli. Good. And let's see, how many men does Castile and Aragon have? Let's see, Castile in here. Not even really at the top. Aragon has 33,000. Castile has 29,000. If I could get Poland and... Yeah, if I get Poland in here, I could just gift them some money to do that. Yeah, if I could get Poland in here, then I think that would be a pretty easy war. Oh. France was excommunicated by Castile. Huh. Neat. Give me Napoli. Okay, fine. Man, Napoli is a really highly developed province. That's insane. Um, hmm. And, yep. I can get even more boats if I needed them. Let's see. Uh, alright, 14, not 22. 14 to 6. Takes, uh, how much money again? 300 and something ducats. 22,000 manpower. Yeah, so it cost quite a lot for another army. Hmm. Did they join the Catholic side? I don't see them. Um, I guess they just haven't joined yet. Okay, well. Hmm, Poland. I'd really rather you in this war than not. I'm gonna actually gift them the maximum amount I can. Wait a month and see if they're more willing. I think they should pay that off. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now they're already willing to join again. Okay, awesome. Give me Napoli. 1st of October. Let's take it right now before he's able to do anything. Move this guy out. I'm gonna train extra war galleys wherever I can. Okay, so you, I should be able to siege this no problem. I won't be able to siege down here. And somebody got an alliance with the knights. Yeah, so I lost all my uh, stuff with the knights, but I will be able to get them as a vassal. It's kind of the major uh, point of this campaign. And then after that, I'll decide what I want to do. Um, you know, I've enjoyed this campaign, so t tearing down some of the big guys in this game might be fun, but I'll have to see. Yeah, you stay there. Bring these guys up in Ancona. And I'll keep sieging this area. The, uh... Where are my boats? They're there. Okay, so let's try to catch them. Try to catch some of their boat uh, armies, or their navies. Yeah, let's try to catch some of their navies in favorable combats for me. Like this one, it should be a pretty heavy stomp on my side. Yeah, killing their galleys, not really losing too many of my own boats. I'm gonna build more of them, though, just in case. 63, yeah, I'm not sure if that's me losing them or Savoy losing them. Okay, let's get this guy all the way over there to uh, Calumbre. And, okay, yeah, run away. So I lost a couple boats. Quite a lot more than I expected, honestly. That's a little surprising how poorly that went. Are mine not upgraded? That might be a you know, very likely explanation of why that went poorly. Got internal conflicts in a random country in the South Americas. Uh, okay. Okay, what does he want? Riga as sovereign states. What if I say no? War reparations. I'm not gonna release the Teutons. I could give that to Switzerland. Wants uh Um I mean, <laughs> they're attacking Poland because Poland looks weak because of my war. I guess I'll decide that later. Uh, yeah, I'll decide the next episode. Thank you for watching Tom Space Games. I hope to see you all next time. Goodbye.